Here are a couple of things that will help you complete your graspable math activities. The first thing you need to notice is something a little bit different about notation in graspable math. This says 20 minus 5 dot 3. What does the dot mean? Well, the dot actually means multiplication. You can see this is normally how we would write it. The reason graspable math uses a dot is because the x here sign looks too much like the variable x. and We don't want to make get those confused. So instead, we use the dot. But this just means the same thing. So to perform this simplifying uh, this expression, we have to remember our order of operations and bed mass. And bed mass tells me I have to multiply before I subtract. To perform an operation in graspable math, you just click on the operation. But notice that if I click on the subtraction, it's going to shake and say, nope, can't do that, because it knows that you have to multiply before you subtract. So in this case, I'm going to click on the little dot to multiply 5 times 3, and it gets 15. Now I should be able to subtract 20 minus 15 to get 5. You'll know that you've simplified it correctly when the box turns green. Let's continue. Here's another example with lots of order of operations that we need to use. Bed mass, of course, tells me I have to do the operation inside the brackets first. So I can't add these yet, but I can add here because it's inside a bracket. 2 plus 3 gets you 5. Bed mass tells me then the next thing I have to do is click exponents. So 5 squared, if I click on the exponent, it'll do that. 5 squared is 5 times 5, or 25. Again, remember in order of operations, I can't add yet, I have to multiply. So if I multiply, I'll get 15, and now I can add them to get my answer of 45. This is particularly helpful when we're learning about collecting like terms. Remember that I can only add like terms. So the A's can only go with A's and the B's can only go with B's. I can't click on these two because they are unlike terms. Remember the apples and bananas in the Desmos activity. So I need the A's to be next to each other in order to add them. So how am I going to do that? Well, be careful. If I grab this three and try and do it over here, you'll notice it doesn't quite work. Or if I grab this A, it gets something really weird. If you happen to grab things that don't quite make sense, you can always push the undo button and it'll go back to that set. And if I do, if you do a whole bunch of things and get stuff really confused and you don't know where you're at, you can always push reset and it'll reset it back to this question. So how am I going to get this whole term next to this term so I can add them? Instead of grabbing the three or the A, grab the sign in front of it and it'll take the whole term with you. Notice it'll tell you where it could go or these little blue shaded regions. Well, I want it right next to the 3a or the 7a, so I'll do that. Now the a's are next to each other and the b's are next to each other. So I should be able to collect like terms. 7 apples plus 3 apples is 10 apples. Notice I can't add these because they're unlike terms, but I can add the bananas. 4b and 10b gets me that. And now I've simplified it correctly. Again, notice these cannot be added any further because they are unlike terms. Let's continue and try one more. Here we've got a whole bunch of stuff we want to move. Remember the x squareds and the x's are different. Remember your algebra tile. A square x and a long straight x are different. But I need to get the x's next to each other. Again, don't grab the two. That's going to mess things up. Grab the sign in front. Bring it out in front of here. Now I need the x's to be together. Let's move this minus in front of there. And everything should be lined up to add and collect like terms appropriately. 2x squared, and this is a 1x squared. I add those, should be 3. This is 7x's, and I take away 8 of them. That means I'm going to get down to negative 1 or negative 1x. And minus 2 is cold. If I take away 3, I'm get colder, and I should be at minus 5. And I'm now done. Again, notice I can't go any further because I can't collect like terms. I can only collect like terms, and these are unlike. So hopefully that will help you when completing today's graspable math activities. Good luck!